guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to the Cozy Peps channel. I just want to say thank you first of all to everybody that has recently subscribed to my channel. Even though I haven't posted any new video, you guys have been coming on over, joining the family and to everyone that has been there for a while on this channel, I really really appreciate your support. So as you guys can tell, there's a little bit of a change to me oh my gosh i went back to black so i decided to dye my locks back to black black back to black that is very tongue twisting but yeah i decided to um dye my locks back to black and um i know my color life was a bit short-lived but i really wasn't feeling it coming towards um the end what actually happened is when i dyed my hair about a week later i really missed my black hair so i went straight away to beauty queens if you're in the uk you will know beauty queens and bought my box of black dye now i then was talking to my little sister and she talked me out of dyeing my hair back to black and um, that's how I managed to stay with it for a little bit longer. However, you know, I still had those thoughts like, should I go back to black? Should I not? Should I go back to black? Should I not? And then um, a few a few days ago, almost a week ago, I finally had a dream. I know some of you may not believe in dreams, but I believe so much that God talks to me in my dreams. And as I was sleeping, I can't remember the exact um dream that i had but i woke up knowing that it was time to dye my hair black um i didn't do it that very same day i had so much to do i was so busy and then i did it about two days later i know i didn't re record it doing it um because it was just a messy situation using black dye is really really hard and i've got white walls in my bathroom and I thought trying to set up the filming um, equipment and then trying to press record and all that and touching my face, my actual face was stained with black dye. So what more of everything else around me? So I decided not to film my um, hair dyeing process. However, I um, wanted to share with you guys um, what I did. So that's what I'm here to do. So, uh, again, silly me, I threw away the box dye that I used, but if you watch my last video, I did use Dark and Lovely to dye my locks, and this time I decided to use Dark and Lovely again. Now, knowing that I had dyed my hair a week before I actually went to buy the next dye, I decided I did not want to mix chemicals from different companies, and end up with hair damage so what i decided to do was to stick with the same brand that i'd used initially which was dark and lovely so i went and purchased the color 371 which is the jet black my natural hair is naturally jet black so i decided to go for the jet black because i knew that it would match my hair color exactly not a lot of people have jet black hair but I do normally like a 1B, that's the kind of colour that people have, but I have got jet black hair. So I decided to stick with the same brand that I'd used previously and use um, the jet black colour. So what I actually did is I used two boxes, so it comes with the, with the developer, with the actual colour, and I mixed those two together and that was enough to saturate my locks. I actually had a little bit left over. So that was sufficient enough to use on my head and on my scalp and I was really really happy with the results. Now washing the hair dye was a process. That took forever. That literally took at least, I would say at least an hour I was in the shower trying to get it out. It was splashing everywhere and it seemed like the black would not go away. Um, that was the most annoying process of all and one of the things that was annoying me was I was already a little bit fatigued um, I am back to working full time since my surgery some of you guys may or may not know um, I had surgery towards the end of last year and that left me shattered and prior to that I had had a few health issues and um, that kind of left 
me unable to do much for most of 2017 so I was a bit undercover but at the same time I was obviously working on the soaps that are currently out and yeah I will discuss those a little more in another video but with that said I am now back full time um, I make wigs, I make custom made wigs, so I do that on a full time basis and I also make um, products as most of you will know some of them are in the background just chilling over here and with that as well um, I do bridal hair and makeup so with working all of those things and still um, catering to family life it can be a little bit hard to juggle and I've been really thinking as well about the kind of look I, um, the kind of vision I have for this YouTube channel. So kind of sitting and planning all of that as well and executing it, making sure I give my best to this channel needed a bit of time. So that's why I was away for a little bit, but um, I digress, I digress. Um, I was talking about my hair done. So I was already a bit fatigued because I'd actually come from a bridal hair job and I was really tired and I was hoping, I do not know what I was thinking, but I was hoping I could slay two birds with one stone, that I would um, dye my hair and then retwist, which is what I did last time, just do it all at the same time. But mm -mm. when I was done, it was... It was like, no, nope, forget it, I'm not doing it, I'm tired. So yeah, I ended up dyeing my hair and going to bed. And that was one of the worst mistakes I've ever made because I had not retwisted my hair since January. If you watched my last retwist video when I vlogged me dyeing my hair, that was the last time I, dyed, I retwisted my hair. And that was officially three months. So the roots were already loose. So with putting the dye on there and then vigorously trying to get it out and scrubbing and then leaving it to dry in that state, my retwist process was long. It was a mess. It was long. And I said to myself, I am not doing this again. I will not leave it that long. I always say that, but I end up doing it anyway because I kind of hate retwisting my hair. I know this is not so good, but I really do not like retwisting my hair. Though it looks amazing after I've done it, I just really, really hate the process. So, yeah, my hair was really matted, it was really tangled, but, but, you guys, you need to try this product. This is the Cuzipeps Wheat Protein Leave-In Conditioner. This, this, this is amazing. If you follow me on Snapchat, I snapchatted it when I was actually retwisting my hair and this is amazing by the way my snapchat handle is Kuti it it's amazing it literally moisturizes detangles all in one and this can be used by people with locks it can be used by people with loose natural hair it can be used by people with relaxed hair so basically what it does, I'm just going to read on the bottle because this is what it does for me. So it um, contains multivitamins, essential fat, fatty acids and wheat protein as well as pure water to provide um, lasting moisture without surface buildup to bring shine, um, improve manageability, reduce breakage and revive damaged hair. And I kid you not, this product does exactly what it says. I may be a bit biased because it's my product, but I know it absolutely works for me. I've um, used it ever since I started my lock journey. And um, yeah, it was under a different name. It was a Cutie Peps Leave-In Moisturizer, but I worked on it to do a little few improvements in the recipe. and. It is amazing. If you have not got this and you are on your lock journey, your natural hair journey, your relaxed hair journey, you should definitely purchase it. And it only retails for £16.99. And this is a 250ml bottle and this will last you absolute ages. You can use it every day. You can use it two, three times a week. It's really up to you. But this product has been amazing for me. So yeah, basically that was my process to um, dyeing my hair back to black so I'm just gonna turn around so you guys can see the pro progress as well of my lock journey 
so that's where we are at so um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you guys soon um so we can share back up on this channel again i appreciate you so so much and um god bless you so much take care until next time